Do you know where I've seen the most train wrecks at work? It's not in project execution. It's actually in reporting up. You've probably been there yourself. A meeting goes off the rails and wow, pretty soon there's frustration and even yelling. Not good. In the next two minutes, I want to teach you how to report up effectively. Directors and VPs, this one's for you. An effective report up has three main components. You start with the story so far. Number two, you give your opinion. And number three, you task your audience. Now engineers, even engineers that are directors or VPs love screwing up step one. They just start piling on the details right from the get-go. Instead, you wanna open your meeting with a neutral narrative. Why? Because people need narrative. They need context and that's what a narrative does. Second, it sounds much more authoritative if you speak in the third person. Imagine you're the Morgan Freeman voiceover in a historical movie of your project. In fact, your goal for the opening of this report is to really sound like a newspaper story. Good newspaper stories are neutral, factual, and remember, they are stories. Do not include yourself in the story. That's the key. That's why words like the challenge or the project really work well here. Next. Give your opinion. Look, if you've made it to VP or director at your company, your opinion is valued. They want your opinion. If you don't give your opinion, you're just not adding value. And finally, there's the delicate business of tasking your audience, your boss. It's delicate because you have to understand what your audience can and cannot do for you. I once saw a director go to a VP and say, look, I need 10 more people. The problem was the VP didn't have the authority to Give him 10 people. Cue the train wreck. Now, a lot of you shy away from tasking your boss. You feel like maybe it could backfire. But here's the thing you're missing. Your boss actually does want to help you, but just doesn't know how. And if you don't task your boss, guess what's going to happen? They're going to find ways to task themselves. You know, they are going to help you in ways that will actually interfere. So really the burden's on you to figure out what is a productive way that your boss can help. And if the answer is really, truly nothing, then you need to say so explicitly. Look, all of this at the end of the day takes real practice. And it's something I do a lot with my coaching clients. So if you're interested in that, give me a message. Bye for now.